I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why you need to focus on becoming a catch yourself if you want to improve the success that you're having with women in all areas of pickup, dating, and relationships. The number one, mo and I talk a lot about this. A lot of guys come to me thinking, oh, I just need a quick pickup line, just need a quick fix, I just need to what to say to get the number, blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot more to it. Obviously, in my book, I'm going to talk about all the behaviors and things that, that turn women off so you can become aware of them. I talk a lot about them in my videos and newsletters, obviously, all the time. But in my book, it's, it's a complete, concise information that's tightly packed together so you can learn all these things, so you can clean up all of the things that you're doing that you're, that you don't even, that you're not even aware that you're doing that are turning women off to you. And in order to be the most successful you can be, in other words, in order to become really sexy and really attractive to women, you got to focus on creating a life and a lifestyle that you love that makes you happy. I mean, you got to do something that is exciting to you. So, like, when you wake up, your, open your eyes in the morning, you're either excited about the fact that you're going to your dream job or you're excited about the fact that even though you're going to a job you fucking hate, it pays the bills and you're really excited about when you get home or when you're at lunch today and how you're going to work on this business that you're building on the side or some dream project that you've been working on you got as a man you got to have something that makes you feel alive that makes you feel like you've got something that you're striving for women love guys that have ambition guys that are pursuing their dreams and a lot of guys simply say oh you know chicks just like guys with money well if you read my book, then you know that even when I had money and success and I'm a fairly fairly decent looking guy, I was still, even though I was getting numbers and I was getting dates, I wasn't getting past the second or third date. And the same thing was happening constantly. I was always getting rejected by the women that I wanted and the women that it, that I didn't really care that about much about were totally crazy about me. And the reason being is there were things that I was doing and saying that I didn't even know it at the time caused me to appear weak and needy and just totally turned women off about me. And after they talked to me a couple times on the phone or went out on a couple of dates, they're like, God, this, this guy's like a fucking needy dude. And they didn't want to talk to me anymore. And so if, you're, if you don't have the success that you have, and the, the great thing that I had at the time was that I had to fall back on was I had something that I loved. I had a business I was excited about. And that's what originally would draw women to me is because I had a magnetic personality and a passion for what I was doing at the time. I've always pursued things that I was excited about. And when I, had, I would, and when I was working for other people, when I got to the point where I was sick of working the job or I just didn't have that same internal enthusiasm anymore, I knew it was time to move on. And I didn't stick around for months and months and months working and getting up and going to a job that as the days went by, I started to hate more and more. I started looking for a better option, a better job, a better career, a better company to work, work for. I went out and found it, and I went after that, and that kept my level of enthusiasm up as I was learning about all the behaviors and things that I had been doing wrong that was turning women off. And so, what I, for me, a lot of my what I needed help with was just simply to cut out all the bad behaviors and the weak and needy things that I was doing and saying that was turning women off. And so when you focus on being chasing your dreams, you're excited about it. You're happy. Guys that are chasing their dreams they're, and they're excited about their dreams, even if they're having, you know, being an entrepreneur, most of the time, most of the ideas and things that you try aren't going to work. So you're really going to be feeling probably 99% of the time when you try doing things. But being successful is simply going from one failure to the next without any loss of enthusiasm. Because as an entrepreneur, you know that it's simply a matter of trial and error and the process of elimination and just simply spending a lot of time and persevering and never giving up to eventually figure out how to make a, a business that's just an idea of yours into something that down the road becomes profitable enough to the point where you can tell your employer, your boss, in a nice way of course, to take his job and shove it up his ass sideways. But like I said, when, when you're around women and they stay, say, what do you do for a living? You're like, oh, God, I love what I do. I'm so excited. Or you say, you know, I really, I, during the day, I work a job I fucking hate, but it's great money and it pays the bills and I'm really awesome at it. But at night, I'm working on racing cars or I'm working on building this killer website or I'm working on this book that I'm writing or I'm working on this 
widget that I'm going to invent that's going to help a lot of people or whatever it happens to be. And because you're excited about yourself and you're excited about your life, you got to realize that women then visualize themselves in your life as your girl and what it would be like to be with you. Because if you're, you have a great, interesting life full of great friends and you're doing fun things and you, you just have a great attitude, optimistic attitude about life that you feel like you can comp- accomplish anything. And even if you don't feel like you accomplish anything, you're going you're gonna to die trying the process because you're never going to give up. And women find that incredibly sexy and attractive in a man. And ask women. They'll tell you. They, they want guys that have ambition. And it's pretty hard to communicate that if when a woman goes, well, what do you do for a living? Go, oh, I fucking hate my job. It totally sucks. Let me tell you all the fucking ways that my job sucks. Okay, when I come in on Monday, I've got – and this is like typically how most people view their lives – and when a girl hears this, a guy thinks, oh, I'm just being honest and open. I'm communicating my feelings and what I think about my life. Internally, she's going, ooh, this guy's a fucking miserable loser. And so when she visualizes herself in your life in that situation, she thinks, God, I'm going to become just as miserable and unhappy as, as he is. And I need to get the fuck away from this dude as fast as possible. And so you got to become what you want to attract. If you like dating successful, attractive, confident women that work out and have great bodies and great figures, focus on going to the gym. Focus on eating healthy. Focus on taking care of yourself. Focus on chasing the things that you want. Focus on becoming a more successful man yourself. And as you become more successful, even though your bank account might not reflect it yet, but when you start to feel more successful internally, you become a magnet to women because women love that about masculine energy because masculine energy is about purpose, drive, mission, pursuing things in life. So if you have a question that you want to ask me, go to my website, understandingrelationships.com, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen, send me one to two paragraphs maximum detailing your questions, your situation, your challenge, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet, and I get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers, and i got to focus on theirs first. But be patient, I will get back to you. And if you want to talk to me right away, if you want to get my help right away, the quickest way is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by clicking the products tab, which is at the top of any page of my website, and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.